Hi, today I'd like to introduce a new runtime for FlowHub called SoundFlow based on SuperCollider. I have Raspberry Pi running SoundFlow. I have an external uh, USB sound card, contact mic wired up to some uh, water. And I made one of the simplest programs you can imagine uh, a sine wave with a frequency and another sine wave mix them together and play them on the output. So it's a little audio pipeline using SoundFlow. And uh, I connected this to a browser application running here, where I have a couple of sliders that allow me to change these uh, frequencies. And the, um, run, the SoundFlow runtime shows up in my browser application as a component that I can use. So this is actually communicating to the Raspberry Pi from my browser without me doing anything special at all. So let's see what can we do with this very, very simple program. So the water is now not active at all. We don't hear any sound at all, but it's actually running. Now I have the frequencies a little bit offset from each other, 0.5 hertz, as you can see. And you get this interference pattern where the thing's active and not. And if I make the frequency the same while it's active, it actually stays active and you can hear it. However, if I do the same when it's not excited, it actually stays that way, even though the energy is exactly the same. So there's something to learn about the surface tension of the water and how it resists change. And you can see this as I change the frequencies of one sine wave respect to the other, this interference pattern changes. It's called a beating frequency.